In this video, we are going to see how to generate 100% unique articles using ChatGPT. So let's say that you have got certain titles for your articles in your spreadsheet. Here we have taken the example of a Google Sheet. Now every time a new row is added here as a new title, then with the help of ChatGPT, which is a chatbot of OpenAI, you want to generate the article and then you want to create a post in WordPress with the generated content. And then the link of that particular content or the post should be again updated as a cell value in your Google Sheet. How can you do this? So here you will be integrating these applications with the help of Fably Connect, where your trigger application will be Google Sheets. Then your first action application will be ChatGPT, then WordPress, and then again Google Sheet. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. So in this process, what we are going to do is we are going to first write the URL public.com slash connect. And as we do that, we have reached the landing page of this software. Now on the right hand side, we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are the new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm simply going to click on sign in. And as I do that here, we have reached all apps page. So these are the various applications of Pabli. We are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. Now, as we do that, we have the, the dashboard on the right hand side. You can see create workflow tab. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here you can give any random name. What is my objective here? My objective is that in my spreadsheet, there are certain titles with which I want to generate articles. So I want to automatically generate these articles within a minute using chat GPT. So I'm going to name it as generate 100% unique articles articles using chat GPT. Let's click on create. And as we do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here, this trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application here will be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And the trigger event here would be new or updated spreadsheet row. So here you can see we have received a webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and Google Sheets. So I'm going to copy this. Then what we have to do is we have to follow the instructions given here in the help desk. So now I'm going to show you what exactly we have to do. So this is the spreadsheet unique articles and the name of the sheet is sheet one here i've got two column fields one is article title another one is generated article content so here i have given one title which is importance of ai that is importance of artificial intelligence now what we have to do is we have to go to extensions then we have to go to add-ons get add-ons so here you have reached google workspace marketplace then we have to look for public connect webhooks and you have to make sure that this is installed on your system. You can see that this has already been installed on my system. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this and refresh this page. This is absolutely important. So once you have installed this, close the page and then you have to refresh your page. And then here you have to go to extensions. You would be able to see public connect webhooks here. You have to then go to initial setup. And here you can see that the system has already selected the sheet. Now this webhook URL that we had just copied, I'm going to paste this over here. And then we have the trigger column. So the trigger column is the final data column where the data is added. Now you can see in this particular sheet, the data has been added only in column A. So this becomes your trigger column. So I'm going to mention A here. So as we do that, we can see setup configured successfully. Now I'm going to click on send test. And the test data has been sent successfully. Now, once this is done, we have to make sure that every time a new data is added here 
in this particular column then automatically the information must reach Pabli Connect. To do so we have to again go to extensions Pabli Connect webbooks and you can see send on event and this has been marked. So you click on this and you will get this check sign right in front. This makes sure that Pabli Connect receives all the data. Now I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect and see if we have received the response. Yes here we have. This here is the trigger column then we have the name of the spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID. This is the index and this is the article title now once you have received this what is my objective with the help of chat gpt i need to generate content the article for this particular title so i'm going to choose my action application here as chat gpt let's click on this now chat gpt is actually a model it's a chat bot developed by openai so i'm going to here select the action event visit which is ask chat gpt let's click on connect and here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the chat GPT account. I'm going to select add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need a token. How can you receive that? First, you have to log into your OpenAI account and then you have to click on this particular page. So let me click on this. And here you can see you have the option to create a new secret key. Let's click on this. And here we have to give a random name. So let's say it is XYZ. I'm going to click on create secret key and the key has been generated. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste this over here. Let's click on save to set up this connection. And here we can see chat GPT and Pabli Connect are now totally connected. Now we have to fill in this information. First of all, we have to select the AI model. Here we have got two options, GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 3.5 Turbo 0301. So now this one here is the latest and we are going to go ahead with this. So I'm going to click on this. The next is prompt. Now prompt is the instruction that you provide to chat GPT. Here we have an example, draft an email for taking a leave tomorrow. So as soon as you share this prompt with chat GPT, then automatically it would be able to respond. Write an article on the topic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to map this topic. How? So you can see the previous step here. As I click on this, you can see the response that we had received. And this here is the title. Now, the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Now, I'm going to click on save and send this request. So, here we have received the response and this here is the article that we have received. Now, once I have received this information, what is my objective? Objective here to create a post on WordPress with the information that we have just received. So I'm going to add another action step here. The application will be WordPress. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to create a post. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the WordPress account. I'm going to select add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need the WordPress username or email, then the password and then the base URL. So here I have entered the WordPress username or email. Then here is the password. Then comes the base URL. So as mentioned here in the help desk, our base URL here would be from this till WP3. So I'm going to copy this and go back to Pabli Connect, paste this over here and then click on save. Now here we can see that WordPress is connected with Pabli Connect and then now we have to fill in this information. So first of all, the post type, it is post. Then what is the post title? So I'm going to map the information. So as I click on this, we are going to go to step one. This here is the title of my post. For the post content, I'm going to click on this. Go to step two. This here is the content. Now comes the slug excerpt. So you can mention the same. Then we have the status. So here, do you want it to be a draft, pending, private, future, published? So I'm going to select publish. If you wish to add some category IDs, you can do that. Tags. Now comes the featured media ID. So I'm just going to delete the existing media because I don't wish to add any media here. Then we have the format. So here again, we have got different options. I'm going to go ahead with the standard format. Pink status, open or close. I'm going to go ahead with open. Then comment status is also open. Author ID. So here I'm going to select Ashish Rai. Then we have the sticky. So we have to select whether or not the post should be treated as sticky. So I have selected false. Then I haven't mentioned any password date or date GMT. If you wish to do that, you can always fill in the information. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. 
So as we do that, here we have received the response according to which now a post must be created on WordPress. So let's go and check the same. So here is WordPress. I'm going to go to post all posts. And here you can see with the title importance of AI, we have a post created in WordPress. And this here is our post. So this basically means that our integration is a success. So I can also show you the same with the help of the link that we have just received. So as I take you down, so here is the link. I'm going to copy this and open this link in a new incognito window. And here you can see that we have received the article. So once this is done, I'm going to close this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this link to my Google Sheet. So I'm going to add another action application here. And this time it is again going to be Google Sheet. Let's click on this. And now the action event here would be to update cell value. Let's click on this, click on connect. Here Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheets account. I'm going to click on add new connection, sign in with Google. And now here we have to choose the account. So here I have chosen the account. Then it is asking me for the access to my Google account. So I'm going to click on allow. And as I do that here, you can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, now here we have to first select the spreadsheet. So this is unique articles. Then you can see that since there was only one sheet, so it has already been selected by the system. Now the next thing is the range. So here we have to enter the range and it has to be entered in this format, column name and row index. So in our sheet, the column name here is B. So I'm going to mention B here. Now for the row index, we are going to map the information. Okay, so how we are going to do this? We are going to go to step one. This here is the row index. Now is the value. So what is the value that is to be updated in the above range? For this, I'm going to go to step three. And here I'm going to go to the link. So that's it. Let's click on save and send test request. So here we have received the response. Now I'm going to take you to Google Sheet. And yes, here you can see that we have received the link here. So this basically means that our integration is a success. But we also need to check the same in real time. So I'm going to give another title here. So it is the new era of technology. Okay, the new era of technology. As soon as I write this title and press on enter, what should happen? First, with the help of chat GPT, the article should be generated. Then a post should be created in WordPress. Then the link of that particular post should come and be updated in this particular Google Sheet. So we are going to wait for a few seconds to see if this integration is a success. And here you can see that, yes, we have received information. Now let's check the same. I'm going to copy this link and open this in a new incognito window. And you can see that we have received our entire article here. Isn't this fantabulous? I hope that you have understood this. Now I'm going to take you to Public Connect to understand what we have done. So here, first, our trigger application was Google Sheets, where the event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then our Action application was chat GPT where the event was ask chat GPT. Then our action application was WordPress where the event was to create a post. And our final action application was again Google Sheets where the event was to update cell value. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.